Hello again guys, welcome to my vlog again. So this will be the second part of my interview. My friend Steve Archer of Archer Antiques. Uh, ang interview po natin today is all about sa kanyang bed and breakfast. So he will be touring us around the sa bed and breakfast niya and then the histories of the house and uh, so on and so forth so i'm just walking to his house right now so see you in a bit a few moments later and this will be the sign you can see this archer's antique Hi guys, so I'm in here at my friend's house um, and we're going to interview him regarding the house and the bed and breakfast. Hi, hi Eddie, this is, uh, I'm Steve Archer. I um, did a, a video there the other day for my antique shop and now we're going to do one for the bed and breakfast, oh, okay. uh, which I uh, opened up here last year. Um, this house is a 1912 house, which is uh, I call it the, the Craftsman House. If you want to, you can go to the craftsmanhouse.ca or uh, Airbnb, uh, booking.com or B-R-O-B, yeah, um, to, to, to book it. It has four rooms, um, 1912, all totally restored um, arts and crafts style home. And uh, we can take you around and show you if you like. And, sure. Um, um, can you tell me like a little bit history about the house? Well, the house was actually uh, downtown Calgary in, uh, in 1987. I, it was moved out here to this spot. And then once the kids grew it up, I took it from one room uh, at a time and restored it back to 1912 with modern uh, conveniences. Wow. So, um, but uh, this is uh, the, the main level. Um, this is the bathroom for the two bedrooms off to the, to the left here. Uh, it's a cast iron tub, um, shower and bath, um, and a tin ceiling freeze. Um, 
And uh, in here is uh, sort of the Hudson Bay room. I have, uh, which was my daughter's room. It has uh, the old snowshoes, queen size bed, all new mattresses and sheets. And, uh, um, and then here, there's a, this was the last actually to be done was this hallway. And I uh, finished it last week. And this is the master bedroom, uh, which is the, um, uh, the Palmer house. He, he owned the place. He was a surgeon in Calgary from 1926 to 1944. He owned this house. And um, again, this uh, it's a four poster bed. I'm converted into uh, a queen size bed. This bed is actually out of New York and it's over 200 years old. Um, and it's actually made of yellow uh, spruce, which is uh, pretty rare to find now. And uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it's all period furniture. Um, yeah. So, so question, are these furnitures up here also for sale? That's like the some ones? Of the, some of the stuff is, yes. If you, if you really want, have to take it and we could work out something. <laughs> Everything is for sale. That's good. Yeah. So... Even room? Mm -hmm. They were the last to own it before I owned it. They owned it from 1944 to 1974. So, and they uh, had the, actually had the, the largest furniture store in Calgary at one time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it was boarded up and used as a uh, nurse's residence. And here is the main living room, um, which has the torchroom lights. Um, Sort of the art art deco sort of style, and um, let me see. There's my my white bear. I haven't given him a name yet. I do have all uh, early arts and craft chairs and uh, 1910, circa 1910 and so. There's a TV on the wall with uh, uh, those uh, sounds around, and on this side is the fireplace, and uh, this is Ricky. I gave him a name. He's a uh, He'd be on your quarter. Uh, so is that a moose or? That is uh, what they call a caribou. A caribou. And it's actually an eastern caribou, I was told. So he, was, he came a long way. Wow, that's, those are huge antlers. Oh, they are. They're fighting antlers too. So, yeah, there's a wood burning uh, fireplace, but uh, I have a feeling insurance is going to make me convert it to a gas. So uh, I'll, that'll be down the road. But uh, move the staircase. This is the dining room, uh, which has a, a, a authentic uh, arts and craft table and uh, and chairs. And um, it's where I keep all the wine glasses and everything, all the glasses that uh, are needed here. And then here is the games room. Um, I have chess set, set up. You can play checkers. Those two cupboards there are full of all kinds of games. There's books there if you want to read. I love this chair here, sitting here having coffee in the morning. Um, it's a very comfortable chair. It's very relaxing as well. Yes, yes it is. And in the summer, in the winter time, there's lots to do here. Within five minutes, there's a, a world-class cross-country ski trail and, and snowshoe and fat bike, which is a big thing coming up now. And uh, the Cross Canada Trail actually goes right through Broad Creek. So if you want to start off in Victoria or Newfoundland and you'll come right through here, you can stay here. And I've had people stay here that are doing the, the Cross Canada Trail. So. Oh. Yeah. So, and, uh, and, then the, and this is the kitchen, which has a, a lounge. Um, so you can watch your favorite cook do the cooking and you can sit here and watch. So yeah, so you're the favorite cook, right? Yes. <clears throat> and if you want a nice uh, uh, ground coffee, this is a 1900 uh, coffee grinder. It's, uh, it works perfectly. It drops the bean right, the right size, doesn't powder it or anything like that. And it grinds the bean more perfectly than the ones we use right now. Exactly. Um, just doing that most of the powder. Or if you don't want to do that, then there's uh, all kinds of uh, pods there you can use. And there's, these are full of tea. So 
you can put the key there and there's uh yeah that's that's pretty well it and uh do you want to go up back okay this is the second floor which is uh the dormers off the main roof um this was actually actually a three bedroom up here with no bathroom but i divided the the two small bedrooms into one and made it two bedrooms and added a bathroom this here is another sort of a Hudson Bay clean room. Um, this is the smallest room. It has the double bed, which is a long double bed. It's 75 inches, so it's not the short one like the old ones with the old skis and thing with a, a Hudson Bay. You know, lots of closet space, and, uh, dresser uh, space. So a mirror in every room and uh, towels are all included. And this room is called the Scott Room. Uh, he owned it. He was actually a, he owned it from 1912 to 26. He, uh, according to the land titles, he was a, um, a Toledo uh, scale salesman in Calgary. And so a sales agent. He was a sales agent, yeah, for, for Toledo scales. Um, this is the bathroom. It's off the, the two rooms here. So this actually is a whole upstairs suite to me. Uh, rented on its own so you can uh, take four people again it has a sit-up uh, tub with a shower and all the facilities that you need here so yeah and then here is the i think is my favorite room this is the saint race uh, he owned it from 1911 to 1912. Uh, he, he was the builder um, that built the, on the property and actually he bought the property off a of lord according to the land titles from england i don't know if the lord ever came and seen the property uh, but uh he owned the land so oh and again i've done this all in uh, more victorian style furniture everything is uh walnut except for the desk here it's like 1860 uh, mahogany 1860 1860 yeah, that's 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 and again, there's full closets. When I, because the, the roof had to come off this house when it was moved, I redid everything from the floor up. So I added big closets. And, but uh, again, Jack did that. <laughs> that little shit. So, yeah, there we go. And I think we got something else. And there's an emergency exit here. So. If you need to get out, this just comes all apart and the window swings out on hinges. So you can um, face up anything. And each room has fire, uh, a fire alarm. Mm -hmm. And there's main, uh, fire alarms in, in the main hall. So, there. So, uh, Eddie, in, uh, in closing here, um, uh, just if you want to book, uh, bookings are starting to come in for the summer. Uh, there's still lots of spaces left, but if you want to book, uh, just Go on uh, Airbnb, uh, uh, booking.com, or VRBO, uh, which is Vacation Rentals by Owner, or go, just go on our website, and uh, all the information's there. And the website, again, is, is thecraftsmanhouse.ca. And thank you again, Eddie, for doing this. Yes, all the uh, website and the, the booking site that he mentioned, I'll be putting it down in our description so you can see it oh. uh, for reference. Oh, okay. So Perfect. thank you very much, my friend. Yes. Yeah. And off to your next uh, adventure. Yes. And good luck on your bed and breakfast and your antique shop. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day, Steve. Yes, you too.